I got this is noise too far, so today we're going to do this, as you can see the maple, which means this came from Canada. So uh, before we sing that, thanks to Adam for sending this pack to me, also accompanied with all these great things. We've got some toasties, uh, which according to him, something that classic for Canadian and American, I think. So I'll try to try this later on. And also he very kind to send me this maple syrup. So it's kind of like very nice, you know, in glass and look really, really nice. Thanks so much that for that, and, um, and also with this coffee, I think coffee bar. Also, very something interesting. And last but not least, Canadian Canada flat. Uh, thanks so much for this. You really, you really appreciate it for that. Um, yes. And anyway, let's take a look of this thing, and we'll go detail on this whole pack. Okay, so let's start with the word first. We have IMP, which is mean individual meal pack. Um, not quite sure 13 now, see what they refer to. But uh, this one is no, number 8, sweet and sour pork. I guess maybe 13 referred to the years production. I just can't sure. But anyway, um, this is military ration, not for resale. Russian military, it is French. So they're a bilingual country, so they have French. Other than that, we only have these uh, comments. Uh, we have a website here, so people can go up, the soldiers go up, give them some feedback. Which is good, I only see this in few countries, so this is good. And uh, it's very interesting, I would say this is very interesting packing to me, because it's, to me, it's packed like uh, McDonald's. Do you think that? It's just a uh, paperweight, and, but this is, I don't know what to prove, so I think to me, this one is a very interesting design. So, yeah, but anyway, let's crack in, see what we have inside. Let's open it. That's, this is different from the US design, it certainly don't get the people sealed. As you can see from here, it actually got two layers. One is paper weight, and the other is kind of tin, sort of tin paper to me, I guess. Uh, but anyway, let's try, can we just peel it like a... Uh, Pull them out, see what we have. So what we have here is um, all things that we have in the whole pack. So um, we have the pork, sweet and sour pork. Also we have the standard peaches. Uh, I come in with the tortillas with two. Uh, this is strawberry jam, and you can see this is peanut butter. And we have a rice. Uh, this is buttered rice, which is I think is very interesting because I never see dried rice in the rations. And also we have a, this one is a beverage bag uh, to make sure you're mixing. And this one is good because you can stand like this. You can have to stand on the table. Uh, better designed than the US military rations. And we have a mini Oreo. And also, in a second, we have two grape fruit tubes. And it's hot chocolate, also with a bunch of accessory. One thing very interesting in all these things uh, is this. A toe pick, a tooth pick. So I never expect to see it in here, even though we don't see it in the Chinese rations. So can keep it, yeah. And of course, a tissue. So this is what we have here, or um, we have inside the um, Canadian IMP ration. So we are now going to uh, boil these two things up. And then, uh, because we don't have a heat pack here, this one is similar to you, uh, the MRE, but without a heat pack. So we're going to boil this thing up, and we're going to take a look at the other side dish. Okay, so uh, before we get things heat up, let's take a look of the details first. So um, first, start with this. This is uh, sweet and sour pork. The another one we have is the side of peaches. Here we go. Whoa. Looks quite nice. Um, very sauce, many sauce inside. I can feel it. Uh, other than that, okay, it's a commercial items. Uh, so let's fold it in, and we will take a look at the other things. So what you have to do here next one is the buttered rice, which as you can see is set to be at boiling water, and we'll close the pouch and let's stand 8 minutes so we have to add boiling water we got some here 
and uh, let's edit it and close it. So there's sort of other way to cook it, but I think this is where it's gonna be interesting the butter the rice. Okay, so it actually looks like this. Uh, let me zoom in. Some rice that's um, a bit more break fruit, uh, I mean break apart, not the things I you have usually. But anyway, let's add in the water. We're going to take a look of the side dishes and side things. So what we have here, let's start with the MRE spoon. So we've seen last uh, this before. Uh, this one is very long spoon, but relatively um, is flexible, but relatively um, like the thing you have in your ticket take out or something. Mini Oreos. Uh, well, I don't think we have to further expand on this. This is Oreo, so um, I think it's okay. Okay, it smells good. Uh, all blacks, and let's put it here, and uh, we have a look. Okay, this one. Uh, you can see this is an Oreo. Um, basically, uh, like I think it's just look like the things we have in the normal Oreos. But let's taste it and see how it's like. Russian version do um, not so sweet like we have in the commercial version. So which is carving should be a good thing. So next thing we have the tortillas. Um, Similar to what we have last time in the US military rations. Uh, this one also is from USA. It was production by the World Company. Um, it was, yeah, product from America. So, the interesting that goes here, you have a look, you interest it. And uh, they go. Um, if we are reading this in the South American way and according to the pack, it should be around 13. I've missed that, but uh, it is 13. So um, this one is 2012 to 58. So end of the 12th year of 12. So it cut off a bit. Okay. Just like the standard use military rations, we have two pieces of tortillas. And with the age of storage, it will be very easy to book it in parts in the middle. So um, I hope this one won't because we have experienced a very well thing last time. It won't broken it yet. So tortillas here. So let's put it aside first. The next one we have. Let's go for the hot chocolate. I think it will be great. So uh, it was product from uh, production from Doctor Ocker to Canada, some kind of Canada company. And um, the interesting fact goes here. You can have a look if you're interested. So interesting set to put uh, 107 millimeters of hot water so let's find some and we will go into take a look for this okay so we have now ready my beer cup with 117 millimeters of water so when I finished preparing it I found out that in the beverage pack I already missed it out the beverage pack have um, set not set but uh, the beverage pack and have a uh, field line for you saying that uh, chocolate beverage in this line and food beverage in another line so it's kind of good, but um, as I already filled with water, so let's put it away. Uh, we'll use it next time, maybe. Let's take a look with the hot chocolate and see how it's like. So uh, 107 milliliter. I wonder that could be more, but uh, I mean more water anyway. So anyway, let's open it and see how it's like. I think this should be kind of um, the three-in-one cocoa mixed with milk powder and sugar. If it's not, it won't be this kind of color. So give it a well mix. Well, anyway, let's take a taste and see do we have to eat more water. Mm. Well, it's great. Um, water is just fine. Uh, if it can be, I mean, if it, it make if it can mix a big cup of it, that will be perfect. Um, the taste is good. Um, the flavor is very natural, not something thick taste, which is good uh, for me. Um, so this is the chocolate drinks. So uh, after that, let's take a look um, of the 
So they have provided also with uh, these two things, uh, strawberry jam and peanut butter. Let's take a look and see how they slide with the tortillas. So let's start with the peanut butter. Um, the cook comes here. Yeah, 12, 263. Uh, this is the year of um, the package was in the end of the 2012 and start of the 13. Yeah, anyway, let's pull some out and try it with the tortillas. Okay, it seems quite nice. Um, maybe let's take a bit of taste for myself. This one uh, is a bit, I would say, um, a bit not that thick like we have in the Yosemite rations. Uh, because Yosemite rations, that one is relatively thicker. Uh, the texture is thick. This one is thin, more thin, so I hope you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, anyway, next one with the strawberry jam. Uh, they cook here. Let's also open it. Okay. Okay, this one. Uh, jam and um, yeah not much special just sweet uh, strawberry jam which is good um, I love it not bad um, well, it has no not bad it's actually good so um, next thing we have here is the peach side peach uh, which is I think is a um, what is that called that they, they call it as a dessert yeah so let's open it too and see how it is like okay we need two okay just the peaches uh, very nice peaches um, they coke goes here 12 yeah also end of the some oh same uh, what's that called same company but it said to boil in boil water so I would say let's yeah let's put it in as the peaches in cooking. Let's take a look the buttered rice, um, which I do think this is good. So I think eight minutes cooked is relatively not relatively it's really enough. So let's open it and see how it's like. Okay, no water left. Let's take a taste and see how it is like. Bit more salty because uh, it's not well mixed. If it well mixed, it will, should be great. So yeah, very nice rice. Um, of course, the flavor is not exactly soft like uh, what we have, or we may not try it in a rice cooker. That kind of flavor, but relatively it's okay. So maybe it's just fit to the sweet and sour pork. If so, they actually don't have to add the butter inside because. So it's for already provide a series of favor. Okay, so now we have finished both packs getting up. Let's make a room first. Sorry, tortillas, you gotta be a side first. So uh, we have first this diced peaches in hot. Um, first time we try, it should be good. So uh, let's open it, see how it's like. see well mmm mmm very nice flavor we have a very finished peach piece of peaches here it is the peach diced peach without touching the cup so uh, let's take a little bit mmm it tastes good um, sort of unexpected flavor not so sweet exactly uh, right taste, not sweet at all. No, I mean not over sweet, which is a good thing. Uh, sometimes the fruit in package do over sweet, but this one is good, even if it's cooked and hot. So yeah, this thing will be the sweet and sour pork. Um, yeah, let's open it, see how it's like. Oh, mmm, smells quite good. And we have a plenty of juice inside and oils, of course. So let's pull it out and see how the sweet and sour pork is like. I was, to be honest, I was a bit expected for um, sort of interesting flavor from this because, well, I'm a Hong Kongese, as you know, and sweet and sour pork is something that we usually have. Uh, not usually, but uh, sometimes we have. Um, 
in Hong Kong when they eat out and uh, and also this kind of dish is very common in Western area uh, typical Chinese dish uh, in some people's eyes of course or maybe any of you think of the same things but to us this is just a sneak peek of the whole pictures so um, as you may note as you may see this one we have here is almost like a liquefied uh, things so a bit out of expectation but anyway let's take a taste and see how it really do be like here comes the sauce let's try the sauce first well it's actually quite good um it more like um i don't know how to say sweet and sour soup more than um sweet and sour pork um i'm not gonna take, try the pork yet but uh, let's see it looks like a beef a pork jerky um, take a closer look. Yep, a bit like very dried pork. Well, if you ask me, um, I would say this is too dry, too hard to chill. But its sauce is definitely good. I'm not quite sure. I think it's good, good with the rice, of course. But um, the quality of meat a bit upset me because I expect it to be more um, favorable more um, soft or I also ex almost expect it to be fried and then put in this um, soup but I mean it's average I think it's okay I mean it's, mm, yeah in my expectation more or less so this is it um, my lunch day uh, actually at the beginning of her, you said dinner, but actually I put in it two days because it's too loud in last time in the construction sound. This is the Canada individual meal pack. This is production from the year of 13. How I see still unknown. Maybe it's a kind of French words, I guess. But yeah, this one, sweet and sour pork, menu number eight. Um, quite good. Uh, I just tell them the feedback here. I uh, hope you like this video. Yeah, Alright, give it it. Subscribe, help me a lot. I'm Noise Too Far, and I will see you next time.